Well, hey, everybody. It cometh for egg. Just making a little PSA video, not the grading company, a, a public service announcement. You know, really, as the title of the video says, 2.5s need some love, too. And coming from a collector who's basically traded in all of his modern PSA 10 stuff and ultra modern for low grade, vintage, gorgeous cards, uh, I just kind of want to illustrate that point. Now, now, yes, everybody wants a 10. Everybody wants a beautiful PSA 10. Like, look at this card. So beautiful, so red. It's about the reddest card in my collection. That's a Tucker Barnhart red hot foil in his reds uni with the red PSA slab. Just a super gorgeous gem mint 10. But is it better looking than its blue counterpart? Look at that, Hall of Famer Ernie Banks in a card that is classically miscut, classically off-center, and most copies of it have these weird little white circles on it. Call it snow, call it printing defects, but this 2.5 does not have that. So what I'm trying to say is, man, just like ladies, you don't need a 10. I'd rather have four 2.5s. Man, a 2.5, she'll, she'll fight for you. She'll go to prison for you. She'll, she'll do hard time, man. She'll keep your secrets, you know? A, a 10's not going to do that. So I want to show you just four beautiful 2.5s. We'll start off with that Ernie Banks. This is brought to you by the Alpine Village Cloggers. Speaking of a bunch of 2.5s, man, you need to hit the jackpot here. Look at these ladies, huh? You've thrilled to the spectacle of their happy hoofing, the fabulous and foxy Alpine Village cloggers. Helen's, or Helene's, Helen's answer to New York City's Rockettes. <laughs> the Rockettes aren't losing any sleep. Uh, they are among the gala entertainment featured at the annual Cocktoberfest. Oktoberfest. But anyway, you know, 2.5s make the world go round. You're going to tell me that this is not a gorgeous 2.5? Yeah, it's violently miscut. It's, 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 it's cut so bad, it's borderline racist, okay? It is way off to the right. It is way too close to the bottom. But look at these edges. Look at these corners. This card is from the 50s. Look at this. Look at the color on it. That picture looks like it's a, a 2023 Tops card. Look how beautiful the color, the registration, the, 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 the image, just everything. But it, it's, it's, it's just way off to the right and way off to the bottom. But that is a gorgeous card. Get yourself someone who's way off to the right and way off to the bottom. And you will live a happy life. What about, what about this Pete Rose? My favorite trophy card of all time. Second year Pete Rose, a beautiful, way better looking than his rookie card with the floating heads of him and three nobodies. But this awesome card I got at a card show in a trade, and it's a good plus, 2.5. That's right, find yourself a 2.5, and it's good plus. Well, give me that, man. Give me four two and a halves. We'll go back to Hank Aaron. We'll go back to that 59 top set. Look at this Fence Busters card. I love this card because I know if I was alive and a, and a little kid in the 50s, I definitely would have torn this card right down the middle. One card would say Fence, Aaron, and have Hank in it, and one would say Busters, Matthews, and have uh, Eddie in it. Um... I, I definitely would have ripped this in half and made two cards. I, I kind of want to rip it in half now, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I know better. I know better than that. What I'm trying to say is, man, you don't always have to go for, for, for perfect tens. That is an unrealistic uh, a beauty standard. Get yourself something beautiful. Fall in love with some 2.5s. Let me know. Leave a comment down below if you'd like to see my two cards or hell, my PSA one cards. I've got a bunch of them and they're all beautiful just like you. Remember, as always, a come of egg.